Take one more step, and you're dead. It's too late. Die! Really fucked up now, old man. You wanna play? Let's play. Bring it, nerd. Hey, you're getting blood! Hold up! I've been away a long time. There's a new generation of gamers out there. Let me at least introduce myself. Travis, touchdown! You murdered my daughter. Don't pretend you forgot! <laughs> Quit making this shit confusing. They need to know about the most badass assassin in video games. You bastard! Quit trying to butter up the gamers! Your fight is here in the real world! Son of a bitch! Nice work, dickhead. What the shit? The Death Drive Mark II. The Phantom Game Console. So this is where it's been hiding. Oh dang, am I really excited. <laughs> Howdy everyone, your power Al here with my next Let's Play of Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. I've been a fan of the No More Hero games since 2013, ever since I did my blind Let's Play in the first game. I did a blind let's play of the second game after that, after some time, and I really love it. It's just mindless fun, just slashing things with your beam katana and whatnot, but... Oh, are we gonna... Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Let's, uh, let's skip this. But, um, yeah, I really enjoy the No More Hero games. I know this game, it's technically not No More Heroes 3, it's... I guess this would be more like a spin-off or whatever. And I don't remember if this is going to have like the usual hack and slash, just kill everything combat that the original two games had. But um, yeah, the premise of this game is that that person that we saw... Okay, yeah, let's keep that. Uh, the person that we saw trying to kill the main character, Travis Touchdown, um, he is the father of a character from the first game that Travis ends up killing. Because Travis is an assassin. That's the point of the games. But yeah, I believe this game actually does take place after No More Heroes 2 in terms of story. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's jump on in. Um, also, I believe this game at least has like... Um, it pays homages to indie games. Uh, let's do Mild. Mild is the normal difficulty, I believe. Okay, then. Okay, then. Yeah, so we're stuck in, like, a video game console and we have to... I guess fart our way through. Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Interesting. Um, okay then. Um, so what's going on here? He's naked. Also Travis, for those that don't know, is a huge dork. I mean, he, he is an assassin, but like... He has a beam katana that he bought online. He is a huge anime fan. Okay, move with this. Also, this game has co-op. But, um, not really gonna mess with that. Okay, B is to jump. Y is to slash. X is to do that. A is to roll. Okay, then. And the uh, L button. What does... What does this do? 
Okay, hey, can I ask you something? Is this the game world? Hey, wait, you can't just walk on walk on in here. This area is off limits. This entire area is sealed off. The government has issued an evacuation order. Whatever, man. If this is a game, I'm gonna clear for sure. You can't stop me. Stay out of my way. You just don't get it. Do you have a permit? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I don't. We can take you up by force, you know. Oh, that sounds fun. Bring it on, then. Don't underestimate video games. Transform! Huh, it's not working. Insufficient funds. <laughs> not enough DD coins. What a shame, Travis. I was gonna kill you in the tutorial, but looks like I still need more karma. The journey is not yet over. The time to destroy the world is yet to come. Look, this is taking forever. This is what sucks about games these days. It takes too long to finally start playing. Anyway, get your hands on a permit before we meet again. We'll overlook it for now, just clear the usual mission-style events. Okay, guess I... grab... coins. Yeah, LB, that's the currency in... the first two normal hero games, so that's... good that they're bringing that back, I guess. Okay, where's the combat? Uh... Bug Street Boys. Okay then. Welcome to the Death Drive Mark II. I'm the creator of this machine, Dr. Juvenile. Death drive is connected to your nervous system via the death glove. Keep concentrating or else you're gonna die. The controls are intuitive, so you'll get used to them. Start by going over the basics. Okay then. Um, yeah. I I know how to slash things. Okay. So we're still gonna be slashing things at least. It's especially useful when enemies close in on the group. We call this a rush attack. Okay. I don't think you could- I don't remember if you could do that in the first two games. But then again, the controls of the first two games is wildly different, I would imagine, just because you're swinging- Well, you do have Joy-Cons. So I guess you could swing those around. Also, I'm playing this on a Pro Controller. Next to the Heavy Attack, you swing against tougher enemies and enemies who guard, which is the X button. Does more damage. Cool, cool. Almost out of power. Okay then. Attack energy cons- Oh, so we're gonna be recharging our batteries. But the system is preventing power from being properly distributed. You have to recharge your weapon manually to get more power. To charge it, shake the controller up and down. If your weapon runs out, your attacks won't do much damage to recharge often. Okay. Um. I guess I just press- Yeah, I press the L button and then I just move the controller down. Okay. Or the L stick. I, I know how to jump. Okay, let's grab the money. Don't know what the money is going to be used for, but... Also, I can... Oh! Neat. Okay, then pretty cool move is a base. I just did that. Whatever. Okay, we did it. We cleared all the enemies here. Um, jump and heavy attack works best when enemies are bunched up. Okay. Did not mean- whoops. That's what they mean. Cool, cool. Also, I got the fighter pass thing, so eventually I'll be showing that off, but I think I need to beat the game to unlock the things from it. Because it unlocks two characters from the previous games. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's just slash everything. Just running and slashing seems to be my preferred method of doing things. But you know what? That's fine. Um, okay, a charge attack is simple, but a powerful move. The charge gauge builds up as you attack enemies, so use it once it's full. Okay then, when you use a charge attack, your charge level will go up. The higher the charge level, the stronger the charge attack. However, the charge level will decrease if you take heavy damage. Oh, okay then. You can use the Choco Banana Crepe with Caramel Ice Cream attack in two-player co-op. Oh man, I love the names of these attacks. Like, there's Strawberry on the Shortcake. That's the only one I know. Hold the charge button once your power is built up. Once it's full, you can unleash a strong, or super strong beam. Okay then. I'm pressing the button. 
Um, I'm pressing. Oh, okay. I think I ran out of my charge gauge. Oh well. I don't know if it's going to be something I use a lot, but eh. Anything up here? Any secrets? Any trading cards for me to collect? Probably not. Also, Travis used to be a wrestler. Fun fact. I wonder if we're going to see any characters from the previous games, aside from like the two uh, DLC characters that we can unlock after being in the game. Like uh, Silvio, maybe Henry. I would love to see Henry here. I mean, we are in... I guess Travis is like living out in the woods in a trailer, so I don't know. Oh. Um. Okay. Let me uh charge up. Come on, leave me alone. Okay, so... Um, boop boop. That's how you do it. That's how you do a charge attack. Okay. Um, are we going to be fighting a boss soon? There. Uh, you haven't died yet. As you can see, there's a toilet here. That's, yeah, of course, toilets are save points. You don't know when you're going to die, so be sure to save. For your first save at each toilet, you'll get some money as a special gift. Okay, then. Of course. Of course. <laughs> well, that's how we save. I think I'll just be cutting those out. From now on. Unless like something happens during a save point. Like getting ambushed. Because that's happened before. White Sheep Man. Travis Touchdown. Welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. You can call me White Sheep Man. I'm the memory manager here. You found a death ball and booted up the death drive mark 2. The journey is long but short. The survivors are desperate. After turning from the main character to the ruler of this world. Triple Star lost his reason to exist. You should know more than anyone. That the chains of freedom are the most painful of all. That's enough talk for now. We'll meet again. Okay. Boss? Also, this game looks really nice. It's made in the Unreal Engine, so... Of course, it's gonna look really good. But it's also a step up from uh, the past two gum... Uh, the past two games, not gums. Games, because they were on the Wii. Oh, I don't have my special charged up. That's fine. I think my beam canada will uh, be glowing red, if that's the case. Oh well. Is that it? Okay. Ooh, memory card? It's a skill chip. When you get a skill chip, you'll not get a new skill to use. Even a monkey, like, you can master them, so use them as much as possible. Okay, you can manage and arrange them from the skill set menu within the level up in skills menu in the pause menu. Okay then. Soda bug. Okay then. Um, level up in skills. We got the shining chip. Um, bind characters and blow them away. Hold the button down to bind a character, then release it to blow them away. Okay. And we have a character select screen here. I, I think I'm just... Ooh, I could play as bad man. Um, I think we're good. I don't know what Azteca stones are. And Jean. That's the name of Travis's cat. Okay, let's, um... How I do? Oh! Okay, so on the side there, in the... On the side of the screen, that tells when I can use my thing. Okay, then. Um, also... Okay, that's my special. Oh! 
That's how I do. Interesting. Okay, I, I knocked him out of the boundaries. Let's use a skill you won't be able to use again. Yes, I figured it out. That may be hard for your brains, but try your... Okay, so combat is interesting here. I wonder what other types of skills we'll learn. Hopefully we get some wrestling moves. That'd be fun. Oh, hello. Is that it? Okay. Also, this music is pretty snazzy. Oh, leave me alone. Yeah, I'm just going to be running and doing my basic slash because that seems to be really effective here. And I guess that icon of Travis on the side there, that's how much HP I have. The battery up there on the top right, that's how much I can use my beam katana before charging it. Okay, basic stuff. Oh, hello. Let me use my special. Did I use it? I think I did. I don't know why my special meter is up at 3 now, but that's fine. But yeah, being able to like slice everything, that's super cathartic. That's really like just like a force throw. Um, let's get my special up. Are you there? Come on. Let me kill you. Let me use my special. Oh, you're dead. Okay. That's fine with me. Anything hidden? I need to be on the lookout for things, because you never know. So you scored some provisions from Hazri. Boxes like this are full of various supplies and cash. Okay, then. Anything up here? Nope. No double jumping. That's good to know. I'm just learning the basics here. Wait, what? Oh, my special is charged up. Okay. Um, we only have 300 monies. That's not a lot. Especially, like, how much you can earn in the other games. Because you do need to earn money. I am, I am, I am Dr. Juven. Juven, 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 Juven. Well, looks like that doctor's glitching out. Aha! Can't hide from me. Traffic's touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Your status as a hardcore gamer is well known even here. But that gives you a hard eye. <laughs> Probably does. Okay, uh, we're here in the next part of the map. I don't think there's... Anything too interesting here? Oh, a blue bug street boy. I I would assume blue enemies have more HP. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, they throw projectiles. Okay. Um, can I like level up myself? No. Okay, and my attack power is level or is at 50 and my HP is at 200. That's good to know. I'm just learning how various things in the game work. Anything over here? Nope. Okay then. Um What's over here? What's going on? Well, there's this. Um, no, seriously, what's going on? Oh, that's a thing. Okay, then. Stop hitting me. Um. That also is effective. It'll be a way for me to dodge their projectiles as well. Bogus... Bugged, but Nick Blue. 
Oh. Okay then. Oh, let's get my special meter built up. Just like that. Hello. Oh. I shook. Or I shook too late. Leave me alone. Do that. Oh. I can't deflect things back at these fellas. And I need to charge up. Okay, charging doesn't take as long as in the first two games either, which is really good. So I don't need to worry about that. Like, it's a lot faster. Um, save point. Um, sure. Also, Travis, he's not wearing his iconic red jacket. But whatever. Let's just, um, continue on. Where the heck? Can I go in here? No? Yeah, like, being able to move and attack, that seems to be really helpful because it lets me dodge things. Okay, this is getting messy. Also, I'm at full health. I guess, uh, using save points does that. Okay, next. Can't go here. Can I go inside this building? That's what I want to know. Nope. Okay. Um. Grab the money. Another skill trip. Oh, you can group together the skills you use them and save them as presets. Okay. You said pro guys head over here to find the combination that best suits you. Okay. Um. Skill set. Let's use... Okay, fire multiple shots from the death glove. Temporarily immobilizes character's hit. Interesting. Let's actually try it. Um, oh, it needs to charge up. Okay, then. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll let it charge up while I'm doing this. You have a thing. Oh, you hit me. Please just leave me alone. Oh, you're the perfect dummy to test out this. Oh, cool. You're stunned. Which means I can just wail on you. Perfect. You, you have no idea how cathartic this is. <laughs> just being able to, like, slash through things. Of course, we don't have the gore that we get from the other No More Hero games, since we're inside a video game. But, eh, whatever. Um, jeez. A lot of enemies are spawning. It's a shame, though. We can't hear anyone scream my spleen. Oh. Okay, rude. Is that it? You're still here, and you. Okay, I can't do a spin attack. That's a shame. Nothing around here. Just want to make sure, like I've been saying. Okay, then. And we have some enemies here. Okay, I can do combo heavy hits. That's nice to know. Okay, let's um, do this again. Oop. Okay, nice. We're doing the damage. The damage that I love. Oop. I don't like you. Oh, you're alive. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I can throw him onto other enemies too. That's so cool. Oh, that's done. 
Oh, we have a ramen stall. Of course, in the traditional Japanese yatai style. Don't know if I pronounced that right. There are ramen stalls from all around Japan throughout each stage. In the ramen, it will replenish your energy and power you up too. Okay, it'll even pump up a chump like you, so be sure to stop by. Um. Okay. Why not? Also, what happened to the money that we had before? Or did we spend it to put the scale chip on? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's check out this ramen stand, I guess. Got a customer, welcome, come on in. Okay, sure thing, here you go. Okay. <laughs> was that Travis saying that? I guess it was. Simple and beautiful, refreshing soy sauce based soup made with bonito broth. Caro Caro Bonito? Oh, and it charges up our special. Okay, this is Bug Extra. Grandpa's words of wisdom. If a man's gonna cry, he should cry in his dreams. If he still wants to cry, he should dry his tears. Okay then. Um, this is an Azteca stone. You can exchange it for a special t-shirt back at the trailer. Good to know. There's a fork in the road here. Um. Okay. They just lead to the same spot. Interesting. Okay, bring it on. I'm just gonna... I wonder, can I? No, if I shake the controller, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's my special. Can I use my special? Okay, there's these two boxes that I want to grab while I'm here. Is that it? No? Jeez, this place is packed with enemies um do that might as well grab uh, get rid of some of these enemies oh and he becomes a tiger like in um no more heroes 2 i think it was oh hello um do that okay two of these axe guys could be a bit of a problem um okay then i think this is the one that took the most damage okay come on oh i missed it's gonna like have him ricochet into this one but that's fine Oh, almost out. Just die. Also dodging. Need to remember that that's a thing. Jeez, that was... That was annoying. Oh, what's this? Where does this take me to? Um... Oh, we built up a lot of experience, so I guess we can level up. Um, if you're confident, you can even try skipping the level and seeing how far you can get as is, like a real gamer. Um, yeah, no. Leveling up. I want that. That kind of reminds me of, like, leveling up your, um, various things in Okami. Like, the way you level up. You hold the... In, the, in Okami, you have praise, and then you hold, like, whatever you want to level up. Until it, the meter reaches it, if you have enough. That's what it reminded me of when I was leveling up my stuff. But, um, yeah. I think, I think this is a good spot to end it off here. I'm really enjoying this. It's really fun to just, like, slash things, even if they're not quote-unquote actual people. We're killing video game characters, even though, I mean, we are playing a game. We're killing game characters inside of... Whatever. But, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and, um... 
See y'all next time for some more No More Heroes. Or Travis Strikes again, No More Heroes. Later.